Last Epoch has four classes that allow you to play summoner builds. Necromancer, Beastmaster, Forge Guard, and Falconer. Each of these allows different playstyles, from one minion carry to an entire army. So, I'd like to explore each of these options and give a quick overview of how these playstyles look like, what they support, and what they don't support. I have already made a video about Last Epoch Necromancer minions and compared them to Diablo 4, outlining some of the features and cool things that Last Epoch does with minions. However, I did not really explore all minion options and other classes. So, let's start with Necromancer. Necro has 7 minion types it can summon. Skeletons, Volatile Zombies, Golems, Skeletal Mages, Abomination, Wraiths, and Bone Minions. This is pretty much your typical Necromancer class fantasy that you may have already experienced in other ARPGs like Path of Exile or Diablo 4. It allows you to have an army of minions. For example, 2 Golems, 9 Skeletons, 8 Skeletal Mages, a couple of Volatile Zombies, and 2 Bone Minions. This can of course be pushed forward with different gear affixes that allow you to summon other minions as well. Now, Zoomancer may not be everyone's cup of tea, in which case you can focus on one or a couple of minions and have your build revolve around buffing those. This does not mean just summoning one type of minions. The game has sacrifice mechanic, which allows one of your minions to sacrifice other minions to buff itself up, or even use your own HP and become stronger. The way you build your minions is very flexible. You can do anything from physical damage and crit, to bleed and poison, to elemental damage, fire, avoid, cold, and so on. This class is least restrictive out of the four, and definitely my favorite minion class Last Epoch offers. Next up, Beastmaster. This one actually surprised me. I played full minion Beastmaster just before 1.0 launch. And because this subclass comes from Druid class, with some limitations on how far you can push minions, I expected it to play as a hybrid between minions and you as the main source of damage. But that does not have to be the case. Beastmaster has six minion types you can summon. Wolf, Stormcrows, Bear, Scorpion, Sabertooth, and Raptor. In addition to that, Beastmaster can also summon two types of totems, Thorn Totem and Frenzy Totem. Earlier, I mentioned that this class comes with some restrictions and special mechanics when it comes to the minion playstyle. I guess the first thing I should actually correct is calling them minions. For Beastmaster, they are called companions. However, they do have minion scale intact. Second thing is, there is a hard cap on how many companions you can summon. The class itself has maximum number of companion stat, which is set to 2, but can be increased by investing into passive tree, specifically nature's embrace node. In addition to that, each companion has their own limit on how many you can summon. For wolves, it's 2 by default, but you can increase this by investing into nodes like pack hunters or safety numbers. The second one allows you to have, for example, 4 wolves, but you cannot summon any other companions. Same goes for raptor, bear, and so on. So what you can end up having is a mix of three wolves, a bear, and a raptor. Leveling up experience with just minions is not really a thing, since you don't have access to full minion setup until you reach Beastmaster class. But even then, I found that minions would die way too often, so it's probably best to mix up with other damage skills until you reach the point when companions can tank pretty much anything and never die, which is around when you start mapping. This class is second in line after Necro when it comes to the number of minions or companions you can have. Even with its restrictions, you can have cool builds, like bleed minion builds, and you can push these minion numbers even further with gear affixes such as bees on these loves. Third class that allows minion playstyle in Last Epoch is gonna be Forge Guard. Forge Guard is on the one minion army side of things, as it only has one summon skill, Manifest Armor. I think the easiest explanation for PoE players would be it's something like Animate Guardian, but without the need to sacrifice armor pieces to summon it. Instead, Manifest Armor inherits the stats of armor pieces that you wear. Important to mention is that, since this is not primarily a summoner class, you do need some levels until you unlock Manifest Armor, which is around 30-ish, after you ascend to Forge Guard and put some points into the passive tree. Other than Manifest Armor, Forge Guard also has a chance to summon another minion called Forged Weapon. This is a temporary minion that lasts for 20 seconds and has a maximum summon cap of 6. However, as it is usually the case with these kinds of mechanics, you can increase the minion duration and a maximum number of summons by investing into some skill tree nodes. Alternatively, you can also reduce the duration or maximum number of summons, but make them stronger. I have not played this class myself, but from what I could gather, it pretty much plays off of your other skills, passives, and stats. It does not allow zoo summoner playstyle, but you can still have around 10-ish minions if we are only talking about the ones Forge Guard can summon. The last and the newest addition to Last Epoch summoner class pool 
is the Falconer. The Falconer is subclass of Rogue class. This one is definitely 1 minion army type of summoner class, as it has 1 minion or companion you can summon, and there are no skill tree points that increase this number. At first, it might sound that this shouldn't be a viable summoner class, but it most certainly is, because most of the skills from falconer class are falcon related. They kinda inverted the summoner playstyle with this one compared to other summoner classes. While other classes support auto attack minions in full, meaning you can fully rely on minions auto attacks as a source of damage, the falconer does it a bit different. While falcon still does auto attacks in most cases, the biggest source of damage for the falcon are gonna be falcon active skills, aerial assault, dive bomb, and falcon strikes. This might sound a bit too much button clicking for someone who enjoys idle or lazy minion playstyles, but I gotta say, the Falconer is one of the smoothest implementations of a summoner class in this game. The class is very agile, fluid, and favors constant movement, which is kinda expected since it has rogue background. And the thing that unlocks this kind of experience is one single node on Falconer's passive tree, Intuitive Connection. Until you unlock this one, the experience might feel a bit janky, as your quick movement is constantly interrupted with falcon attack skills, but picking this instant cast node up transforms the entire dynamic of the class. If I needed to summarize each of last epoch summoner classes into 4 sentences, it would be Necro, standard summoner with most diversity, Beastmaster, limited minions with minion revive mechanic and minion active skills, Forgeguard, your armor and weapon can become minions, and Falconer, swift and deadly, one minion carry. Hopefully this makes your minion decisions in Last Epoch easier, once you get to play the game, that is.